It's one thing to believe in something when you don't need it to be true. It's another when everything is riding on it. Clay Grant Are you just passing through? I'd say pull up a seat, but the counter is the best place to view all the action at the Acorn Diner. At the counter, you get into great conversations. It's amazing what you learn about people. We all have a story because we are all recovering from something. If I've learned anything, I've learned that. What you get out of this story probably depends on where you are in your own life right now. If you're in a tough season, you're in good company. Me? I just stopped in to fill up my thermos with some of the Acorn's gourmet coffee. It's a dark roast from Guatemala. Something strong for when you have a long day ahead. My name is Diego, and I work up at the church as a groundskeeper. It allows me to live here in Cliff Falls, <laughs> in these beautiful Santa Cruz mountains. Anytime I'm away from here, when the city closes in on me, I just think of these mountains and I can breathe again. It's important to breathe to have those places where you can go and reconnect with yourself and God. I know I need that. But this isn't my story. This is the story of former child star Clay Grant. If you had told me I could see myself in the life of a former child star, I would have laughed. Most of them are screw-ups, right? But see, myself, I did. And it changed me. I don't justify what Clay did. Torching a Hollywood studio backlot is never a good choice. But when you hear his story, you'll understand why he did it and how quickly it got out of control and why he thought he had no other choice but to run. They say God speaks in a still, small voice, but how can you hear him if you're never still? Or worse, if other voices speak louder, drowning out your own voice, let alone God's. Especially in darker times when you feel like you're suffocating from the world around you. Clay's struggle is like ours. We all hear voices. The ones we decide to listen to are the ones that matter, that determine how things are going to turn out, or at least who we are going to become, regardless of how things turn out. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, if you've heard another telling, forget it and forgive the author. The other version wasn't a lie. It just wasn't the full truth. Clay had shared so many pieces of himself with the world that it was only natural that he wanted to hold some of the most hurtful pieces back. But the missing pieces make the difference. He's allowed the author to share them now in the hope that they might bring healing to others. I think that's called bravery. The more we get to know each other, the more comfortable we are sharing our whole story, the light parts and the dark. The missing pieces that were left out before, well, they are ready to see the light of day. There are different ways to tell a story. Painting is how I tell mine. So, I let the author tell you this one. C.B. Shipe is sitting at the counter right now. The guy in the black v-neck sweater. He's been traveling the country, surprised but grateful by the response to Clay's story. Amazed how people from all walks of life connect with it in such a deep, personal way. Maybe we're not so different after all? See that empty spot at the counter? That's yours. Have a seat and let the author tell you the remarkable journey of Clay Grant. And remember, Clay was just passing through too.